I buy deals, I create new vendor relationships, I strengthen existing vendor relationships. Uh, I also am involved in training all new buyers. We bring them into the company and teaching them about our business, our industry, uh, vetting uh, vendors and vetting, uh, vetting deals. Very, very scientific and analytical. No, it's actually, um, we look at an opportunity that's brought in to one of our buyers from a, uh, a vendor, no matter what the product is. That buyer generally makes the first um, um, level of, this looks kind of interesting, this might work. We do actually have a couple of uh, analysts that help us kind of gather information on that, that deal. They get that information back to us and then there's generally a small group of two or three or four people um, that make a decision on, yes, we like it, sounds great, let's go get it, no, we don't like it, um, or um, we like it maybe at a different price. Um, but it is, uh, in my case, 15 years of uh, kind of pattern recognition with a lot of uh, uh, gut feel mixed in with a little analysis and a lot of common sense. We want to be the people that our vendors uh, want to do business with, not need to do business with. We understand the fact that, you know, it, it, people have inventory that they want to move. Uh, we under also understand the fact that sometimes that can get pretty painful for a manufacturer to do business with a large retailer or e-commerce company or brick and mortar company. Um, if it makes sense for us, we'll do it. And if it makes sense for the vendor, we'll, we'll do it. If it doesn't make sense for either of those two entities, it's just not going to be an opportunity that's worth pursuing. There's a lot of times where we'll see something and, and kind of like almost at any price, it's just not going to fly. So you probably notice speaker docs on the forum. Some people say bring back the speaker docs. What, what's your thought? Don't ever mention speaker docs to me again. <laughs> I was not involved in that acquisition. I was with the company at the time, but I was not actually on the purchasing side of the business, so I take absolutely no responsibility for that mess. Um, however, I don't know if anybody else in the world or possibly in their right mind would have pulled that deal down. We pulled it down, we had the inventory for quite some time, but overall I would say from our community and from our customer base and particularly from that vendor's case, uh, that overall, I would consider that have been a successful opportunity for us. Part of our business is uh, making sure our vendors understand who we are and what we do and how it works, and we have to understand their expectations also. So buyers, I think, um, that are traditional buyers in traditional businesses absolutely would freak out if they knew what we do and how we do it and why we do it and how much we enjoy it. Um, so do they make fun of us a little bit? Maybe. Um, are they possibly jealous of us from time to time? Yes, I would say so.